Hi, I'm Bill Hoffman. Thanks for joining me here at the Smithsonian's Marine Ecosystems Exhibit. Maybe you saw our bio bid on calcium carbonate. Today we're going to do a husbandry highlight and we're going to talk about calcium carbonate and why it's important for us here at the aquarium. Um, you may already know from the bio bit that calcium carbonate is formed by mostly by organisms, including snails and clams that make their shells out of a form of calcium carbonate. And lobsters also use calcium and combine it to form calcium carbonate in their shells. And what's most important for us here, at least with, with what's behind me, are corals. Corals also make their skeletons out of calcium carbonate. And here is a coral skeleton. You can see this is a lot of calcium carbonate in here. Um, and so it, you can understand too that it would be depleted in our aquariums as the corals grow and take calcium out of the water. Um, where do they get more calcium in our aquariums? And we have to add that every day. It's kind of like adding milk for corals. It's their, the form we provide them with the raw building blocks, the calcium and the carbonate ions, the carbon ions, um, to allow them to build their skeletons. So let's go into the lab and see how we add our, our supplements to the aquarium to, to help our corals grow their skeletons. I mentioned that there are a lot of organisms that build their skeletons out of calcium and turn it into different forms of calcium carbonate. So you might wonder, what is calcium carbonate? And there are a lot of different forms of this mineral. Most of them are biologically produced. Some of them include chalk and limestone. Uh, marble is another type of calcium carbonate. Uh, but car calcium carbonate itself is made up of three major ions or elements, uh, calcium, oxygen, and carbon. And they are formed together to form, they, they join together, are bonded together to form this mineral that we call calcium carbonate. You just saw us add the two-part solution that, that is important for all of the corals and calcifying organisms in our aquarium. Um, we have to add each part separately because if we add them together, they will actually form calcium carbonate in our water and rain out like snow. Um, so we add them separately in the water and we need to add them every day. Again, our corals are growing, the, sh the crabs and the snails are growing, they need more calcium. So we add that every day as a two-part solution to all of our aquariums, that especially the ones that have corals in them to make sure that our corals are, are continue to grow at their natural rate. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed our husbandry highlight on calcium carbonate. If you'd like to learn more about calcium carbonate, be sure to check our, out our bio bit and also to subscribe to our, our channel for future bio bits.